Hi everybody, this is a video to show you how to take through Design Space the new SVG to cut a presentation box for the Storsint beer glass from IKEA. This is this lovely round uh, glass with a, a short stem. Okay, so you get two SVGs in this bundle. You get one that lets you cut a single piece main box from A3 using the long mat. Or for those of you who can't get A3 or don't want to use A3 and you don't have a long mat, it, there's also a two-piece version which you can cut from A4 on the standard mat. So let's bring it in and talk about it and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I'll bring in the single piece first. And the first step, as usual, with any multi-part SVG that's got score lines, is you have to convert those lines that come in as cuts, but which we need to be scores. We can't set them to automatically come in as scores, unfortunately. With my SVGs, they always live in this first subgroup in your layers panel. So all you need to do is click on that second line down, which is the name of the subgroup. That selects everything within it. Go to your operations menu and choose score from the drop down menu. And you can see that they've been converted now. Um, and while they're still converted, we need to ungroup them. And I'm on the desktop version for PC. Ungroup is at the top of the layers panel. If you're on the mobile version, it'll be somewhere else. Second step is to select the group below, which contains all the cut pieces and any cuts within them. All we need to do there is ungroup. And the third step is to select the whole SVG, everything on canvas, and ungroup a third time. So now everything is an individual piece, and we can attach individual score lines to the pieces that they relate to. I think the quickest way to do that is to click on canvas somewhere near a piece, drag a box to enclose it, and attach. And for me, on the desktop version, attach is at the bottom of the layers panel. You need to do that for each piece on screen that has score lines and in this project that's everything oops a daisy there we go right so i'm just going to click make it and show you what happens and then to talk about what we need to do so we would want to cut this from a3 but when i go here it won't let me choose a3 and that's because design space says that this piece is too wide to cut from a3 but we'll just go back and we'll have a look and it's actually 35.34 wide, which is plenty within the length because we're actually going to, it'll go this way on our mat, won't it? Um, but it is 29.19 wide. Now, A3 is 29.7. So we've got six millimetres, about quarter of an inch to play with. So this piece will be on a mat on its own, whatever we do. So to make things simple... I'm just going to select that cut piece and I do it in my layers panel because it's attached now. So you have to go to your layers panel to um, select it individually. And I'm just going to make it any other colour. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing it so that that piece will be on a mat on its own. And the reason I have to do that is it still won't let me choose A3. So when you send this to print, this is the project for the long mat. There's no getting away from that. But you're just going to tell it that you're using any paper that comes up. It doesn't matter. And you're going to position your A3 sheet on your mat just a couple of millimetres over from that very first white grid line on your mat. And that will just give you a little bit of extra play at this side here. And that will cut from A3. And then you've got this piece down here. These pieces are just a little bit too big, sadly, to cut from uh, one sheet of A4. You can see it goes onto another one and we can't squeeze them on. So here I would choose... Um, 12 by 12 but if you're matching your card you're probably going to be using two sheets of A3 so that's why I've said sort of one and a half sheets of A3 more or less because you will have a decent piece left after you've cut it so that's the one piece box I'm not going to cut it so I'll cancel and I'll delete that and I'll bring in the two piece box now when I say two piece I know there are actually five pieces there what I mean is the main box body is in two pieces so again, we select that first subgroup in the Layers panel, Operations menu, Choose Score, Ungroup. Select all the cut pieces in the group below and just ungroup it. And then select the whole thing, everything on the canvas, and ungroup a third time. And now we're back to 
click on canvas, drag a box and attach. And again, you're going to do that for every piece on screen. Right. So let's just talk about this is the biggest piece and it's 18.32 centimeters wide, which is well within the width of an A3. And it's 291, 292 millimeters long. So you've just got about five millimeters to play with. And because of that, Design Space is going to tell you that you can't cut that from A4 and you can't choose it. So we're going to choose 38.5, the 12, 12 by 12 mat, because that will take up the whole of an A4 anyway. And you're going to send it through a piece of A4 on your standard mat and you're just going to drop the A4 sheet of paper just a couple of millimetres away from that top white line on your mat and then you'll have a little bit more to play with down at the bottom here and that will cut easily from A4. This one, you could choose A4, but it doesn't matter. Just keep it all on 12 by 12, except for this one. You're going to have to choose A4 there because they... Um, they won't lay out on an A4, so you're going to have to make, make the machine do it. So as you can see, you need about three and a half sheets of A4. Okay, that's that. I'm not going to cut it, so I'll press cancel. If you've got any questions when you come to cut it or assemble it, don't hesitate to get in touch. You do get a PDF of very detailed assembly instructions to show you how to make it. But if you do have any problems, don't hesitate to get in touch. The links to do that are in the description below. You can contact me on Etsy or Facebook, whichever you prefer. And if you just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVG, the link to do that is also in the description below. Thanks a lot. Bye.